In today's video, I'm going to cover exactly what you need to start trading and becoming a profitable trader. Even if you're an experienced trader, this will help you level up your game and ensure that you're maximizing profits. Every good trader I know starts with this step in the process, which is identifying macro trends, which is which direction the price is moving up or down and identifying key resistant and support levels where you're going to enter and exit your trades. What's good, I'm Kyler and you're watching BitRush Crypto. Today's video is going to be a step one in my beginner series where I teach you how to trade. If you're just learning to trade this is really going to be your very first step in the process of learning i have other videos that you might want to watch after this that cover all the key indicators however the first thing you're going to want to do is to identify the macro trends which way the price is moving and figure out what your key support and resistance levels are if you watch all the way to the end i'm going to show you how to do it the quick and easy way and during the video i'm just going to show you the regular way to do it as well it's good to learn both however i will give you those secret little tips at the end if you watch all the way if you guys are enjoying my content please do tap on that thumbs up button as it does help me get my videos out to more people just like you and if you are enjoying the content, go ahead and sub to the channel as I do post regular content on cryptocurrency. I'm going to be continuing to post videos in this series, which is a beginner series on how to trade. Most of the principles in this video can be applied to any trading, whether it's cryptocurrency, stocks, Forex, whatever it is. Once you learn these key principles of trading, you can apply it to anything. We also just need a quick little disclaimer here. Nothing in the video is financial advice. Obviously do your own due diligence, your own research, and always remember to never invest more money than you can personally afford to lose. The goal of this video is to teach you to fish. So you catch a man a fish, he eats today. You teach a man to fish and he eats every day. So that is the goal here, guys, is to teach you these basic principles that every profitable trader that I know uses. You know, people can make money trading, doing other things like candlestick charts and, you know, patterns and all of that. But almost every profitable trader I know uses these two main areas in their technical analysis. And that's what keeps them consistently profitable. And again, guys, that is going to be identifying the movement of price and identifying those key levels of resistance and support. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're gonna be starting out over on our charting software. Personally, I prefer TradingView. If you guys don't have a charting software, I'll have a link in the description below. Go ahead and use that link, it will help support the channel. I use the professional one, I believe it's like $20 a month, $24 a month, something like that. If you're serious about trading, you need to spend a minimum amount of money and just get the professional version. There is a free version if you're just starting out and you're not ready to trade just yet. You can use, I think, two indicators on each chart, which should be all you need as a very early beginner, just checking out the charts or whatever. And then obviously, as you do start trading and making a little bit of money, you can make that investment, um, the small investment of about $20 a month, and they have a more robust package if you guys get into like bots and different indicators and things like that. Um, that a little bit more, I think it's like 30 or $40 a month. Okay, so we're gonna start on the Bitcoin chart. And I always start on the one day chart. I am a day trader, so that's my style of trading. I don't feel like I need anything more than the one day chart. Um, however, if you guys are swing traders or maybe you're using this as an investment tool because you can use these same principles for investing or for swing trading, then maybe you wanna zoom out a little bit and go to the one week or the one month chart. However, as a day trader, and just so you guys know, day trader means that you open a trade and close the trade in the same day. So I'm never leaving a trade open more than a few hours. Um, for that style of trading, I don't really need anything more than the day chart. And even here, as you can see on the day chart, I can see all the way, way back to the beginning of Bitcoin. Um, we're obviously going to zoom in here in a little bit. But again, guys, that's up to you, your personal trading style. Um, apply these principles to whatever it is you guys are doing. So again, I'm going to just zoom in. And the first thing we're going to do to identify um, the trend, right? Which way the price is moving. I mean, I'm sure you guys can just look at the chart and kind of see here. Like if we go back, 
Bitcoin basically from the very beginning has only ever gone up. Obviously goes up and down, up and down, up and down. But the macro trend in general for Bitcoin is up. However, that doesn't help us in the near term. If Obviously, if you were to buy in like right here and the price is going down now, that trend is a downward trend, even though overall the price action on Bitcoin is going up. So how do we identify the trend, the macro trend? And this applies again for anything. It could be any stock, it could be any fund, it could be Forex, whatever it is you guys are doing. And this is how I do it. Again, I come to the one day chart and I'm gonna grab my line tool here. And what I'm gonna look to do is to find the past four to five tops on the one day chart. So again, we could count them out. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of them, right? And so um, just in this little section, there's about 16. You only need, you know, four to five. So if we were to go backwards um, and we're gonna try to just touch as many of them as we can, obviously these lower ones we're not gonna be able to get. We're gonna draw through. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna go ahead and just do that. Now, if you wanna go a little bit longer term, we could do another one. Um, and just try to get as many tops as we can on the chart here. And it's probably going to look something like that. So you can see that both of these are angled up. And the way you would tell is if the start of the line on the left side here is lower than the end of the line on the right, then the price action is moving up. So both of these, we can see that the price is moving up. If however it was the reverse, let's say we're back somewhere like right here and we were just looking at this chart at this point in time, um, then our line would be going straight down, right? So we want to just hit as many of those tops as we can. Um, just kind of draw that line across it. And that's kind of how you get the general macro trend. So you may be thinking like, obviously, duh, like why would you even need to do this? And the biggest thing you want to do is when you're making a trade, we want to trade with the trend. This is very key. It always helps your trades because the price is going to move more quickly in the direction of the actual trend. We'll always have reversals. As you guys see on this top, it came down and then it goes back up. We had a reversal and then it moves back up. We can see here we have these big hard pumps up. And so those are the bigger um, harder pumps that we want to catch for our trade. So we always want to see the direction of movement and trade with the direction of the current trend. Okay, so that's it. Pretty simple, quick and easy. Now this is on the macro level. So this is the one day. But now what I usually do is now that I have that figured out is we're going to come down to a much smaller time frame and we're going to come down to the 30 minute chart. Um, I'm going to just delete these other lines out here because we don't need them anymore. Um, we're going to zoom in a little bit here and now we're on the 30 minute. This is really where I start to use my analysis, technical analysis on a trade that I'm going to enter for a day. And again, the reason is as a day trader, I'm not going to want to be in a position more than an hour. Honestly, if I'm in a position for an hour, it means that it's continuing to go up and I'm just trying to maximize my profits. For most part, I want to get in and out of a trade in about a half an hour, possibly even 15 minutes, maybe even five to 10 minutes. Those are the type of trades I'm looking for. I want to catch like this quick pump up here or a dip from the top back down to the bottom. And so that's essentially what you're looking for is um, where we can actually make a quick little gain here. At least that's my style of trading. If you talk to 100 different traders, they probably all have 100 different methods. And when you are analyzing different traders and their styles that they're teaching you, because if you're like me, you're probably not just watching this one video. You're probably going down a rabbit hole of YouTube videos and watching hundreds of videos or at least tens of twenties of videos, um, all different traders. And so the one thing you want to look at is one, is this trader profitable? Is their system that they're using consistently profitable? And for me, that means if I'm making like five trades, four of them need to be profitable, right? And if I'm not profitable four out of five times using the system that I'm using, I don't think that it is a good system. And so, yes, this system has been proven time and time again to be profitable. So as you guys are analyzing this system, it's the same one a lot of different traders use. There's different versions of it, but essentially we're looking for the macro trend and we want to catch a reversal back up if the price is moving up on the macro trend. And if the price is moving down on a macro trend, then we're waiting for it to pump and catch the reversal 
back down. Simple, nice and easy, nothing fancy. I'll show you guys a little bit more to it, obviously. And then as you get into my other videos, I have a bunch of different indicators. I'm gonna do a full trading style video in the future, but this one's just for beginners, so we're not gonna get into all the other indicators that I would use for confirmation. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking for key support levels. Um, resistance and support and for these lines they're always going to be horizontal so we can zoom out a little bit here and again we're basically just looking to draw horizontal lines across as many tops and bottoms as we can so I can see one right here where we seem to have touched several times so I'm going to just do my line chart here um, and if you hold down shift this is a little pro tip for you guys it took me a while to figure this out but it draws a straight line if you hold down shifts so you don't have to guess so we got one right there probably another one right here at the top. And so right now that's the channel that I would be looking to trade in. Obviously there could be a breakout if we wanted to catch a breakout, if it moves up above this um, and starts to pump, we could catch that for a big trade. And if it moves below it, we could go ahead and catch a big trade. But while it's going back and forth in this channel here, that's essentially where I'd be looking to make a trade as this price action. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. Oop. So as the price moves either to the bottom of this channel or to the top of the channel and then shows a sign of reversal, I would take that trade. However, like we just said earlier, we always want to trade with the macro trend. So the macro trend right now is up. And so basically I'd be looking for a trade when it comes down and touches on this level. And you guys could see here, it kind of came up and down in this middle channel and then finally touched. And when it did, it had a bigger pump. We could also draw another line here if we wanted. It looks like there's another level of support right here. And there's another level of resistance right here. And those are kind of our key levels that I'm seeing. Possibly another one like right in this range um, right here. That's basically it. It's really simple, guys. You're going to just draw these lines, horizontal lines, where the price tends to have reversals, where the most tops and bottoms are, and then we're going to trade along those levels. So again, if we were to come down to this level, I might start looking for a trade as it drops below that. And the big thing we're looking for is for it to not go too far down as it did drop down here. I wouldn't be wanting to take a trade right here because it could still drop down. If it drops down below this, we are below support. There's nothing else here for a while, way down to about here. So that would be a big loss if we took a long position and then it continued to drop. So we want to wait for a reversal. So we're going to let it hit. And then as we start to pump here, maybe the second uh, candlestick up, we might take the trade somewhere in here. And then as we get past this, we're going to go ahead and ride it all the way back up to the top somewhere in here. Um, again, this is on the 30 minute chart. So um, this might not happen. That would be like a full day. So if you guys are day trading, it's probably going to be just one of these candlesticks. We can go down to a smaller level, like a five minute, and we can kind of do the same thing here, guys. So you could see here on a smaller level, we would have like a support level right about here. And again, back up to the top right around there. Same system, guys. That's all you need to do. It's a very quick and easy. Um, a lot of traders get confused and like try to do all these elaborate schemes. The way I always look at the indicators is as confirmation. So we know where the channel is. We know what the price is going to do. It's going to bounce around here in these channels. And they're going to, you know, go ahead and bounce off these top level resistance levels. And again, off the bottom level supports. So those are the key levels where we're looking to enter the trades and exit the trades. I know I'm making this super, super like oversimplified. There is more to it, but these are the basics you guys need to start learning. If you can do this on a chart and just watch and uh, you know, I'm not really into paper trading or anything like that, but if you guys want to do that, just go ahead and say like, okay, I would enter this position right here and go ahead and mark it on the chart with like a little arrow or something. And then later in the day, as it moves up, maybe you're saying now that it hit this level right here, we're going to exit. And if you can do this consistently over time, then you can start to make money with real Bitcoin or, you know, real USD if you're trading stocks. So now let's get into um, some of the easier ways that you guys can do this. So if you guys think this is hard and it's pretty simple, but um, there are easier ways to do it. So I'm going to just show you that here real quick. I'm just going to delete out all these lines so you guys aren't confused. 
And what we're gonna do for the first thing, we wanna add an indicator to see our macro trend. So the indicator I'm gonna use for the macro trend essentially is going to be an EMA. It's an exponential moving average, and I cover that in my indicator video in more depth, but let's go ahead and just add it. Let's add an indicator. We're gonna just type in EMA, and we have exponential moving average right here. So we can add that to our chart. And you can see it's kind of in bright blue. It's actually hard to see. So let me click on that and make that a different color um, style. Let's make it like a white maybe. That'll show up. Yeah, there we go. The white shows up good. And so instead of drawing the line through the top, this is going to go through the middle because it is an average, but essentially does the same thing. So you can see like in general, which level is this line moving? And the exponential line is moving up and we're probably in a upward trend so that's an easier way to identify the tr uh, price trend macro level trend if you guys don't feel like you know drawing those tops a um, little bit quicker and easier you guys can just leave this on your chart if the ema is moving up in general like the lower um, end here is on the left and the higher end is on the right then we're moving up and vice versa if the higher end is on the left and the lower end is on the right then we are in a downward trend so that's going to be the first like little tip and trick that you guys can have to just quickly identify your trends is just setting an ema on the chart the next thing we're going to do is to figure out um, our different levels what i really like to use is the indicator called pivot points so again, we just come over to indicator and we're gonna type it in. And you can see right here, pivot points standard. So that's all we're gonna do. It's now gonna draw these different levels. So the pivot point is um, essentially like a middle ground. If the price is above this, we are in a bullish trend. If the price is below it, we are in a bearish trend. And then we have key levels of support. Um, and resistance. So a key level of support would be right here and a key level of resistance would be up top here. And then obviously we go to resistance three, four, five, all the way up and um, the supports on the bottom as well. So you guys can see that here and it does it like every different trading period. So if, again, if we move back out to like the 30 minute, you can see they're actually pretty big here. These are a little bit bigger than the ones we were looking at. Um, but again, this is like a more of a mathematical equation based on the price action. So again, I always do recommend doing your own levels as well. But if you guys want something just quick and easy, you can use those pivot points. We come into like a 15 minute chart. Um, let's just see here. So the 15 minute looks a little bit more accurate. Another thing that is a little tip and trick I'll give you guys from using pivot points is I generally use the trading period before. So you can see this trading period, it's up top here and down bottom here. But on the previous period right here, it's a little bit um, lower for the support there and a little bit lower for the resistance. I generally, if I'm gonna use these, I use the day before. So I would use this line to trade this price area. And again, as we move past this like little trading section here into the next one, I would be using these levels here for trading this area over here. So again, just a quick little easy way you guys can find these levels of support and resistance. Um, again, they're not gonna be exact. So I do recommend drawing your own lines in addition to these. It's just a quicker, easier way to do it. Now let's go ahead and remove those pivot points. And I'm gonna do something different, which is another way you guys can find key levels of support and resistance, which is the Fibonacci retracement tool. So this is gonna be under this section here. Oh, you guys can't see it on the side. Let me move my screen over. Um, there we go. So right here, this is what it would look like. You're gonna click on that and it opens up a different little side section here. So we're gonna click on Fibonacci retracement up top. And then I'm gonna make this full screen again. And what we want to do for this is we want to start with the bottom and go to the top. So let's just zoom back in um, real quick here for you guys. Sorry. Um, we're going to just zoom in right here. And then I'm going to go back to my Fibonacci retracement tool. And I'm going to start at the bottom. So I'm going to start right here at this very bottom. And I'm going to draw it all the way up to the top. And go ahead and ooh, didn't click off. I'm going to go ahead and click off right there. And so now for trading here, we have a bunch of key levels already drawn out. We have the top here as our main resistance. And then we have different levels of support, which I think if I had left those other lines, I think they would be pretty accurate. We can also do it on more of like a macro level if we wanted. Like if I wanted to just try from over here and go from this bottom 
to this top it's obviously a little bit different here let's go ahead and click this one off and let's drag that one over um, but again so if you wanted you know something on a bigger time frame we can use these levels as well and so it's going to be just quick and easy giving you these levels of resistance and support where are the key areas in the chart where we might see the price reversing and you can see here this middle channel it seems to be bouncing almost perfectly in that channel and again um, you know if we dropped below this level i was saying here we can see on the chart here that the next level of resistance is way down i mean we have one right here kind of um, if we drop below that down into this zone here but really i wouldn't even count that um, it's really down here and if we get down below that then it's way down at the bottom um, hopefully bitcoin's not going to drop that low but that is why these levels are important so you can see like if we drop below this level here it's no man's land all the way down that's bad news so we always want to wait for a confirmation on the way up so I hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, the reason I wanted to make this content was just, you know, super simple, super easy for new traders. I feel like there's a lot of complicated systems out there. Even me with my beginner content that I've recently been creating about all the different indicators, I feel like it can be confusing. And so something that a new trader can come in and not be overly confused, just look at this and say, yes, I understand that. It keeps bouncing off this key level of support right here. So as it hits that level and it starts to bounce again, that might be a good place to place a long, um, especially in an upward trend that we are seeing with Bitcoin right now. So that's it for today's video. Again, guys, if you did like it, please do tap on that thumbs up button. Do yourself a favor and sub to the channel as I'll be posting regular cryptocurrency and trading content. And if you guys would like to chat with me, we recently started a new Discord chat. The first 50 members to join my Discord chat are going to get lifetime VIP access for free. We'll be linked in the description below. Go ahead, join up, ask me questions in the chat. Um, I'm also giving indicators. I'm trading options uh, mainly on the S&P 500 right now until after the halving. Then we'll switch back to Bitcoin. If you guys are interested in that, join up the chat. Leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.